stable, secure, affordable window eyes. This how do I do that tutorial will demonstrate how to open and save file attachments in Microsoft Outlook with window eyes. Accessing attachments is an essential email task for almost all students, professionals, and home users. Please make note that you should only open attachments from known senders, and you should always avoid opening attachments that could potentially be malicious in nature. I'm using a Windows 8.1 computer running Windowwise 8.4 in Office 2013 for this demonstration. Microsoft Outlook is the active application and focus is in the inbox's message list. As I navigate through the list of messages by pressing down arrow, Windowwise will announce important details about the currently selected message, including if it's read or unread, who the message is from, the subject, and the date and time it was received. Unread from Facebook subject Aaron Smith shared a link received Thursday 4-17-2014 4 16 p.m. Once I select a message that has one or more attachments, Windowwise will say the word attachment just before it announces who the message is from. Unread attachment from Mark Solomon subject Windows keyboard shortcuts received Friday 4 11 2014 12 32 p.m. I will press enter to open the selected message that has an attachment in a new window. Windows keyboard shortcuts HTML. Hi. Please find attached to this message a document containing many of the popular Windows keyboard shortcuts. Enjoy. After the message opened, Windowwise automatically began reading the message to me and I silenced speech by pressing control. Thanks to the Outlook Enhance app that is installed by default with Windowwise, I can press control alt a to display an easy to use dialog that contains a list of all of the attachments for the currently opened message. Attachments of Windows Keyboard Shortcuts dot doc size 24 KB name Windows Keyboard Shortcuts dot doc size 24 KB list view one of one dialog attachments. Now that I have pressed Control Alt A, the attachments dialog has opened and focus is in the list of attachments. The attachments dialog also has an open, save as, delete, and close button. Before you can open or save an attachment, you must first select the file from the list of attachments. If there is more than one attachment, use the up and down arrow keys to navigate through the list and select the file you want to work with. I will first demonstrate how to open the selected attachment, which in this case is a Microsoft Word document. I will tab to the open button and activate it by pressing the space bar. Open L button. Space. Opening Word. Windows Keyboard Shortcuts. Dot docs protected view Word. After the document opened in Word, Windowwise announced the title of the document and indicated that the file is in Protected View. Protected View is enabled by default in Microsoft Office and is designed to protect you from email attachments that contain viruses. In order to read or edit a Microsoft Office document with Windowwise, you will need to turn Protected View off. This can be done by pressing Alt F to open the File tab. F. Info tab control. Then tabbing to the Enable Editing button. See Users Mark App. Enable Editing Alt F I E Unchecked button. Enable Editing. And activating the button by pressing Spacebar. Space. Windows Keyboard Shortcuts. Dot docs Compatibility Mode Word. Next, I will demonstrate how to save an attachment to the Documents folder using the same dialog we used earlier to open the attachment. I have returned to the Opened Message window, and I will press Control Alt A to display the attachments dialog. Attachments of Windows Keyboard Shortcuts. Dot docs Size. 24 KB list view, one of one, dialog attachments. The first file is selected automatically, and I will now tab to the Save As button and press the spacebar to activate it. The process of saving an attachment is very similar to saving other types of files. Open L button, Save As, S dialog button, space, file name Windows Keyboard Shortcuts. Docs Combo Edit Box, 
Dialog Save Attachment. The Save Attachment dialog is presented, and I need to choose a location and name for the file. The default file name in the File Name Edit box is acceptable, but I need to verify the save location and change it to Documents if necessary. This can be done in several different ways, but I will use the address bar because I find this technique to be simple and fast. Press Alt D to focus the address bar. D. Address D Desktop Combo Edit Box. Type the first few letters of Documents. D. O. Documents. 2. Suggestions. As I type, Windows displays a list of suggested locations in a drop down below the address bar, and Windowwise reads the first suggestion and tells me the total number of suggestions. Press down arrow to move through the list of suggestions until you find the location you are looking for. Documents, documents, two, suggestions. Once I hear the correct location announced, I can press enter to select the suggestion and set it as the save location. Desktop split button. Now that the documents folder has been selected in the address bar, I can activate the save button to complete the process. I could tab numerous times until I reach the save button, but instead, I will use the save button's keyboard shortcut, Alt S, as in save, to activate it from this position in the dialog. S, save as, S dialog button, dialog attachments, attachments up, Windows keyboard shortcuts, HTML. I have now successfully opened and saved a file attachment in Microsoft Outlook using Windowize. Thanks for checking out this How Do I Do That tutorial from GW Micro. If you have any technical questions about Windowize, please contact our support team via email at support at gwmicro.com or by phone at 260-489-3671. You can learn more about Windowwise and GW Micro's other products and services by visiting our website at www.gwmicro.com.